great Scott. Hello everyone, and welcome to another episode of Zareth Prevails. Guys, we're trying an abridged version of the guide I just recently made with Mothma versus Grievous. I've had a few people express to me their extreme disdain for a 30 minute video talking about one counter, and I get that. I also think that sometimes people should realize that these, these guides are very difficult to explain all the different nuances, but we're going to try to make this right around 10 minutes. I don't know if we'll be successful. That's the stated goal at the start. You guys can give me feedback. Hopefully we can get it done. Uh, frankly, we can't talk much about mods. Uh, I could talk about mods for 10 minutes all alone, but the key here, guys, is we're taking Mothra versus Grievous, and we're gonna take Grievous out. It only works against two different versions of Grievous. Well, may maybe a few more, but the two most standard ones, the ones with Newt and the ones with the, um, the Droidica. Uh, people ask me about BB-8, and BB-8, it does not work against BB-8. They just, they do too many hits, they take too many turns, and things get bad. So, without further ado, let's jump into some fights. I'll show you guys how it works, and we'll see. We'll see what we can get in in 10 minutes, guys. <laughs> Which is kind of what she said. So, all right, guys, we do have to pause here every once in a while. We're going to start here. All right, so, we want to fast Mon Mothma. She needs to go... She doesn't have to go before Newt. This is against a fast Newt team. Uh, but if she can go first that before the rest of her team, she can summon the Worthless guy. Now, he's not worthless, but I call him that because if he dies, who cares? Like, it doesn't actually hurt our banners. And frankly, it's... <laughs> I don't know. Who knows what his name is? He's just worthless. You're like, really? You're going to promote that Worthless guy over there? But the team we were using is Pow, Biston, Scout and Kara, this is a turn meter manipulation squad, and they're gonna take a ton of turns. You can read their kits if you like. We don't have time to read kits. <laughs> Ain't nobody got time for that. Uh, so we're going to, with her, uh, you, you have to differentiate between an actual uh, damaging attack or, or move and a move that just generates a bunch of attacks from everyone else. Mothra does no attacks, and so uh, that the key here is to not trigger Magna Guard into taunting. You don't want him to taunt or counter at all, uh, which means sometimes you target Newt here, sometimes you target Magna Guard. Either way, uh, you have to do an actual attack on Magna Guard to make that work. So, what we're doing here, everyone's just shooting Magna Guard, but you can see he couldn't, he didn't counter. Then when B2 becomes available, you want to start doing that. So, uh, you do your yell with POW, that's wonderful, that's great, it works. Now, keep in mind, if you're using Cara Dune, now uh, apparently her abilities are turned off, I paused it too late, but if she does her AoE, Magna Guard is going to potentially counter and taunt, and then you need to eventually do another move uh, on Magna Guard, like a yell from POW that's going to dispel that. Worthless guy is the guy who dispels, you need his dispel, that's why we want Ma Mothra to go first. So, she does her throw, and in this example, he doesn't taunt. It's like a 70% proc rate for that. So, uh, but Pow does his yell, and that's not an attack. Biston can do his frenzy here. You need to make sure if B2 is gone, that B Biston does not have that buff immunity on him. So, uh, you know, because he can't get Frenzy. Every time he gets Frenzy, then, or every time Frenzy triggers, he takes a turn, etc. Uh, you kill B2, and you can note, we killed B2 so fast that B1 hasn't even taken a turn. He's still in stealth. So we're just shooting Magna Guard, because we'd have nothing better to do. We don't want to kill Newt. We don't want to get, we really don't want to get, uh... Grievous into the point where he only has health left because then he's gonna just flop flip flop back and forth and try to kill guys uh, Or have the have you kill different guys at different times and you don't want that auto targeting So uh, you can find Magna Guard here eventually B1 will take a turn Cara Dune's grenades of course were instrumental in getting his grenade or getting his turn meter down and uh, otherwise, you just want to be doing basic attacks to reduce or to increase or <laughs> to decrease POW's uh, ability. You just want to shout with him. That's all you want to do. You need his Zeta. You need all these guys to be somewhere around between Relic 3 and Relic 5. Finally, B1 takes a turn. We can throw a grenade, try to reduce turn meter on everyone. Kara does benefit from having lots of health protection and uh, potency. But uh, and speed, all of that stuff. You do want Mothra to go first if possible, though. So, 
Uh, now we can we can do a cool heal and uh, I think from there, all right, so we kill Grievous, wonderful. We can kill Newt, no problem. We're gonna skip to the next fight. Same thing, Mothra goes first. Uh, obviously Newt is first. It doesn't matter if Newt goes after her, That it, that's not a big deal. But once again, we summon Worthless Guy because we need his dispel on Magna Guard if we can because Kara's gonna be doing her AoE at some point. And then we have B2 available. You see B1 finally did take a turn here. Um, usually B1 is gonna take a turn. Then this, this B1 is not slow. Like he's, B1's right at, uh, what, like 285, something like that. Mothra is at 295, I believe, because her kid gives her an extra plus 50. So, uh, keep in mind, so look at Biston. He's got damage immunity right now, or buff immunity right now. He should not be giving himself frenzy because he won't be giving himself frenzy. He will just not have frenzy. He's immune to buffs right now. He can't have them. So, uh, you, can, you can, however, pay your extortion if you want. You want to target B2 so you don't proc his hits. And yeah, all this turn meter guys, look at their kits. You get a ton of turn meter. Pow gets turn meter from his yell and from people doing basics. Uh, Kara reduces turn meter on the enemy team with her AoE. Biston gets frenzy, which if you don't know what that is, look at his kit, it'll tell you. And uh, Hoth Rebel Scout also uh, gives a lot of turn meter to people based on his basic, and he gives himself some turn meter based on his uh, his special as well. So you'd need to kill B1 or B2 first. I know that that's contrary to what I've said in the past. In 3v3, you do it differently. You use B1, uh, or you use... You use his, um, or you kill B1 first because B1 heals B2 too quickly in 3v3 uh, for that to be a tenable solution. Uh, and you, you remember, we're not using Cassian and K2 here because we need turn meter manipulation. We're trying to avoid a situation where they get their legs under them. We're, they have all of this turn meter loaded on us uh, or, or on them. Uh, not, not turn meter. They, <laughs> if, if they do a... If they do their target locks on you, that's how they get their feet under them. That's where they start taking a ton of turns, and it, it's not great. So, uh, anyways, this can work. Now, keep in mind, against this comp, you can use Hoth Rebel Scout. I'm not going to show you a video of that, but you can use Scout against that, against this comp, if to be faster. And it's easier to make him fast than Mothra fast, frankly. But if he... Uh, goes first. That that's that fr that works against this comp because Newt exists uh, against a Droidica comp. It, it he struggles. So let's actually let's rewind a little bit here. I think this is the comp. This is the one where so against Droidica, if Scout goes first, your team gets wiped. If if Mothra goes first, things are still good. So in this case, uh, they don't have a fast Newt because Newt's not on the team. It's Droidica instead. And once again, Mothra summons Worthless Guy. There are several of these damage immunities. Remember that Mothra dispels uh, debuffs as as she goes along. Though whenever someone Take, takes a turn and attacks, she dispels someone's debuff. So uh, now you can see Magna Guard here was taunting. He got, he did get stunned. Once he get, if he gets stunned, then you're good to go by Scout. It's not a reliable stun, however. So you want to make sure that <laughs> you have a way to get rid of that stun, which is doing a non-attack special that's going to summon Worthless Guy to help you dispel it. That That's the only way to get rid of the taunt. So once you get rid of that, now one thing you can do, and, and I refined my my, my testing here is you can take out Droidica. Uh, you, you can actually just uh, hit Droidica and dispel it with Worthless Guy, and you're gonna, he's going to do less damage. So uh, we killed B1 here, though. I mean, not a bad choice to do this anyways. And we actually get our cake and we get to eat it too. I think I messed that up, but um, we don't have time. <laughs> we don't have time to talk about cake metaphors. Ain't nobody got time for that. And uh, otherwise, guys, I mean, this this is a pretty neat one. If you can get a little tenacity on uh, the whole team, that, that helps a lot just to avoid that GG counter, uh, you know, or GG debuffs. You can note in some of these videos, he's doing all these attacks and hits, but Mothra and Cara Dune, they who both have a lot of tenacity. They share so much tenacity through Mothra's leadership that... Uh, they don't actually get debuffed for a really long time. And now you can see there's a, there's a target lock on Kara. Obviously, eventually, Grievous is going to stack enough potency that it's going gonna, it's gonna to get on there. So, uh, a 55 banner win. Sometimes you can get it up to 
uh, you know, like 57, 58. Uh, but in this in this era of expanded GAC uh, divisions, it's going to be a really vital counter sometimes. So let's do one more attack. I know that'll get us a little over 10 minutes, but. I do just want you guys to have another sample size. So, all right, uh, we hit Magna Guard a couple times, uh, finally B2 proc'd, and now we can we can choose if we want. We can we can do our grenade throw because Cara Dune was actually stealthed at that point. So he's not actually going to hit us back uh, with Kara uh, when, when Kara's in stealth because we were in stealth when it happened. Um, but now we're just hitting B2 and... Uh, you do the check to make sure you don't have buff immunity. Biston uh, does his frenzy, and then every time someone does a special, Biston gets another turn. And then I'm looking for someone I could use my special on to reduce their turn meter, and no one was available. So just use my basic. Basic is actually better for Pow anyways, because it reduces it or gives him turn meter and it reduces his cooldowns. And so you can see here I refined during my testing, I refined it so that we just dispel Droidica here in, in between like killing B1. And granted, this B this droidica is only gear 12 but uh testing shows that like even like a relic six or seven droidica does not really impact this that much like he might nearly kill one of your characters and that that's unfortunate but mothra can revive you have all that uh nonsense so anyways folks this is a pretty reliable counter i know that i had a video out there recently uh ish that had different team comp and it didn't really work that well um uh, for whatever reason, and I, I, I'm here to say that I have spent so many thousands of crystals testing this, and I went through a really miserable season of 5v5 trying to figure out how it worked. This does work. It's consistent. I can't wait to use it in 5v5. You guys can watch me on Twitch or on, on YouTube. I'll be posting my videos, and um, <laughs> if it doesn't work, then I'll be taking losses against Grievous, so that's always fun to watch, too, because it's embarrassing like crazy when you make a counter video, then it doesn't work. So, that being said, folks, thank you all so much for watching, and remember that in all things, Xerath prevails. And hopefully so does Mothra. Jeez, can't take more embarrassment, that's for damn sure.